Well, here you are, Mario. Here, you're live. Uh, you're on the camera with me, everybody. Hi. So, yeah, wait, we're waiting. We have YouTube. You can say hi to YouTube. Hi. There's my son. He wanted to say hi. There's Mario, everybody. He's on Instagram. There's Instagram, Mario. So he, uh, and he's on YouTube. Well, Mario, I wanted, just wanted everybody to say hi. Whenever I do a post about you, Mario, I get like hundreds and hundreds of your fans. And then I did a post about me today. Something yeah. about me. I don't know. I was doing about art camp or something. I got three, three comments or three likes. And that whenever I do something with you, you get like 300. So you're, you're, you're like daddy's internet sensation. I'm like I'm writing, famous. I'm like writing your coattails, Mario. I'm famous. <laughs> yeah. So we're very excited. Mario's going to get his trailer next week. And thanks you guys for helping him out. We're, we got a drawing tonight, but Mario's, Mario wants to talk on, to his girlfriend and he's going to go to bed. So here's Mario's green monster. There's his GoFundMe. And you guys all helped us raise over $5,000, and we're getting this trailer next week, Mario. Congratulations. Thank you. So you want to say goodbye, goodnight to everybody? Yeah, bye. So that was Mario. He just, I just wanted him to come on, and just I want to congratulate him for getting that trailer. And he's working. If you want to read his story, go to uh, GoFundMe and type in what, Mario? Mighty Mario's Dream. Mighty Mario's Dream. All right. I love you, son. I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I love you. All right, that was fun. Well, hi everybody. I'm glad you're here with us tonight. Let me plug in the. Uh, I got a fun drawing. We're gonna do Sleepy T Rex today. This is my my series. I'm just celebrating the uh, the success. I'm just so tickled pink that I've gotten over a million books. So this is my bestseller right now. Help me get over the million mark. And if you don't have a copy of it, by all means, get ten. Right. And. Uh, this is my another the sister book for you. You can draw in 30 minutes. They're both wonderful. This is my series that we started. This is episode, uh, I believe it's episode four. Am I correct? Episode four. Uh, and if you guys would uh, write down, give me a comment. Where are you from? What state? What country are you from? I always like to keep track. I got this. And I always write down what state, you know, what country. And these are, I just, I'll keep a list here. So if you guys can. Everybody would comment on Instagram. Hi, Instagram. And <clears throat> hi, uh, Facebook. Well, let's do a drawing tonight. Let's get right into it. We're going to draw this drawing. And this is what we did uh, earlier tonight during my uh, my fine arts. Uh, not, this was during my, my Zoom summer art camp. Excuse me. This is my last my last few days of my Zoom summer art camp. Very cool. We we have two more days, but we did the Sleepy T-Rex. Now, earlier, look at what we did. This is just one day of this. This morning, we started with the eight, six, seven, eight, nine-year-olds, and we drew we drew this the Pop-Tart. Uh, this is Pop-Tart Tilly. Isn't that cool? There was Pop-Tart Tilly right there. I think darkened it up here a bit. And then the, we did a flock of uh, we did a flock of uh, spinach cans. Isn't that wonderful? Then we did marshmallows and a cup of hot chocolate. And then we did uh, TV, uh, a TV in the corner of a room. And I don't know how that, if I can make that any better for you guys at, on Instagram. I'm going to see if I can make that a little bit better. Sorry about that moving around here. I'm trying to do, uh, I don't know if that helps at all, but give it a whirl. Um, all right. So here's the next hour. This was for uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds. We did uh, this, the Zot family's mailbox, and we did the Zot family robots. And uh, uh, Melody wanted us to do a donut. So we did Dan Zot's neighbors dancing donuts, Melody. I hope you enjoyed that. Anybody on Facebook? Let me write in hi. If you're on Facebook, uh, send me send me a little comment on Facebook, would you? I got lots of good comments coming in on YouTube, and I got uh, good comments coming in on Instagram. Hi, Krill family. Hi, Jay, Jay's Pirate, Pryot, and I got here. I'm going to move this up so I can see it. That's what we did later on today. Now, this one, well, I don't want to lose it. Now, this is this was a fun one, one drawing a day, right? That's what I'm trying to encourage all the kids to do. And this one, this was a, a total takeoff of that 
a cartooning workshop ad on Facebook. I loved it. I loved the image. And so I showed the kids a drawing. I changed a little bit, but it's always give credit where it's due. Hello, Karen Wall. And uh, this was the inspiration idea and the pencil power. So tonight I want to draw. Where is that guy? Here, I want to draw this. I want to draw that sleepwalking T-Rex. So I'm going to try to keep these to about 15 minutes total. So, wow, we already have five minutes. So I'm going to make this drawing 10 minutes because I've been talking so much. I'm going to get right into our drawing here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to block this in. I'm going to block this in very lightly, just scribble, scribble, sketch, sketch. I'm going to zoom in just a bit so you, you guys can see it a little bit better. And now from the back here, I'm going to slant this down. Look, I'm just starting really light. I'm just shaping it. And this guy, this, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's all right. And then this guy, look, I'm just, I'm shaping, I'm blocking. I want him to be leaning out. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just scribbling and sketching. <laughs> scribble, scribble, scribble. And now he's going to be sleepwalking. So I'm going to draw this, his jowl out front here. So I'm just scribble, scribble, sketch, sketch. Give yourself, give yourself, you guys, give yourself the license to flop. Okay, you've got to fail to succeed. Give yourself the license to flop. And remember, stress is on the bus. See the bus right there? Someone type in beep, beep. Someone type in beep, 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 beep. Stress is on the bus. <laughs> hey, Jasper for short. Oh, wait. So we're going to draw. Here's what we're drawing today right here. Oh, my cats are licking my toes. Hi, cat. So we're going to draw the sleepy T-Rex right here. This is one of our drawings we did tonight during our 630 to 730 family workshop. So we're blocking it. We're sketching it in. Hope you guys join me. Clean up a little bit here. I'm going to draw these big uh, sleepy eyes. That size that's in front. Here's overlapping. One of those 12 words of drawing. <clears throat> those 12 words. And remember... If you want to get the chart of these 12 Renaissance words, if you it's a free chart. If you want to get the free chart of the drawing direction compass, these are absolutely for free. They're they're great for you. And I have two free student portfolio ebooks. And those are on uh, those are on my uh, right here. Those those ebooks and stuff are on um, draw3d.com. Okay, you go go here, click printables, and you get get those two charts for free. Well, here's overlapping. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to make these sleepy eyes here. So I'm going to use his contour. That's one of those 12 words. Basically, these 12 words have been around for 500 years. All right. I'll put it right here. There's 12. I call them the Renaissance words. They've been around for 500 years. All right. And basically what these what these words do is these words will build your confidence and your skill and will help you create the illusion of depth because 3D right, equals length plus width plus depth, right, and creating 3D, creating depth is really creating the illusion, the illusion of near and far. Can you guys write that, take notes, you little college, college geniuses? The illusion of near and far, that's the whole point. And in order to successfully create the illusion of near and far, you need to be able to understand how to distort and how to squish, okay? Squish and distort. Those are very, very important ideas. Squish and distort. Somebody type in the word squish, would you? Someone type in the word squish in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the text box on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Facebook. All right, so we, we're going to tuck. Now, here's overlapping. I'm going to tuck this eye, the, uh, the, the pupil underneath there. And now, see, it's all sleepy. It's our sleepwalking text. T-Rex, our sleepwalking T-Rex. And I always say, draw super light, and then you can darken it in. Draw light. That's the most difficult concept for me to teach the, uh, the kids is to draw light. Now, the most difficult concept for me to, to teach your you adults is to draw anything, literally anything in 3D. And it's not because of talent or lack of desire. It's a, a totally about lack of confidence. And that's what I'm going to try to teach you today. And through this series of the my 15 minute every night, one drawing a night, is to uh, draw, build your drawing confidence. If you learn these 12 words, it's all about you learn that you learn the drawing direction compass and you learn the 12 words right there. And you you will learn to draw, I guarantee you. Okay. Now my my book, you can draw in 30 days, 
that book uh, definitely, definitely is a, is a good one to get to focus on it, right? I'm trying to find the card to throw up here. But you can draw in 30 minutes and uh, why well, you can draw in 30 days book. There's, they're going to help you master those uh, those words, okay? So now let's uh, now think what I'm doing here. See how I made that, that jaw lower? Look at this. It's like a box. You see, it's like the bottom of a box. Let's go back to our drawing direction compass chart real quick. I want to show you this. You see this line right here, direction northeast and northwest. See that? You see these pencils, the northeast and northwest, south. These are the four positions that most artists will use most of the time for most of their drawings. Just like I'm doing right here. See this? Now, I'm not going to draw a box, but I'm going to use that box. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better here. And I'll use that box to draw their teeth. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw a little tooth here. The back tooth, look, it's higher up. It's further away. That size, see? And then a couple of variations. Now I'm going to draw the, some teeth big and some small. I'll use variety. Variety is the spice of life, right? Give me a uh, give me a one through ten. How are you guys doing? Hello, Richard. Hello, Bethany. Hello, Lance. Hello, Mary. Hello, Karen. Hello, John. Hello, Melody. Hello, Federal Fire. Fatima and John Kim. Omar and Jasper. This is great. Someone one through ten. How are you guys doing so far on this? Now I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to take this jaw and I'm going to draw this guy's jaw. Coming back here, I'm going to put some overlapping wrinkles here. You see that? I just drew his jaw. And then I'm going to put some wrinkles behind the eye. I love wrinkles. Wrinkles are cool. I'm going to write that down. Wrinkles. Wrinkles equals cool. Wrinkles equals cool. All right. I want to make this guy sleepwalk. And so I'm going to take his arm. And I'm going to draw one arm right here, kind of bending. There's his one arm right here. He's like, oh. And I'm going to draw... Draw his little claws here. So he's going to be sleepwalking. And the, the back, look at clean up, clean up, clean up. Clean up. That's why these are the tools I would suggest. Any kind of eraser, any kind of pencil, a blending stomp. This is You can just Google blending stomp. And you'll see it. And then a, a brush here. Of course, I always recommend you get some kind of a sketchbook. To collect all all these, you, know, you can draw on 30 days, once a night, 15 minute drawings. Little sketchbook, right? Get a little sketchbook like that. All right, so I'm going to go pick up the fit pace here. I'm trying to keep these to 15 minutes. You can always pause them. So I'm going to draw this guy overlap. These are underlapping. His arms kind of reaching out there. And uh, now watch this for his, his hand back here. This hand's smaller than this hand. But I'm going to put his little thumb here. And then he's like, his other fingers are. A little big, bigger. See that? Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> of course. As soon as I go on, go live. Then I have. Uh, then I get my. Get I get my my cough here. Isn't that funny? All right. So then you can draw. Now this you can add extras and bonuses to your drawing. I'm going to keep mine kind of simple. But look at all these. Look at you could put scales and shading and blending. But I just I just wanted to get you a little scribble. Uh, to get you started, okay? These are to get you started. Now, if you want to draw more with me um, every night for a full hour, 6.30 to 7.30 for the next 36 weeks, I'm starting a Fine Arts Academy. You can draw with me. Your family could draw with me as part of my Fine Arts Academy. In Central Time, every morning at 10 o'clock and then at 11 o'clock for beginning class and then an intermediate advanced class. Then every night for an all-age family, all-level Family Art Night, Monday through Friday for the next 36 weeks. I'm starting this Monday, and I'd love you guys to join me. It's just awesome. If this 15 minutes has, has been fun for you, imagine drawing every night with an hour, and I and I don't do a lot of the promotion. This is, Thank you for being good support. This is my promotion platform here. So thanks for uh, drawing with me and letting me yammer on about all my projects. All right, so then we'll shade it. And uh, we'll shade it here. Now, I'm dedicating this webcast tonight to uh, Mr. Ed Heck. And uh, I had all kinds of cool, well, looks like, oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I'm dedicating this to Ed Heck, <clears throat> one of my favorite artists of all time. 
uh, I have one of his paintings. I have several of his paintings, but he's made a whole bunch of these cool masks, you guys. And every mask that you buy from Ed Heck's website, uh, and here's here's what they look like. They're really cool. And he puts his the paintings on it, and he has the pencil mask, and he has uh, this is my favorite, the little ducky mask here. All right. And uh, here, I'll show you the ducky mask. Let's open this ducky mask up. These are cool. And I just uh, I just encourage you to support his uh, Ed Heck. Go to edheck.com. And um, he's just such a cool guy. He was a guest on our on our NASA. Um, here, it comes with a little bag, right? And then here's the little, the little ducky, little guest, little mask. Isn't that cute? And uh, he just has, he has so many. There's the bag for this one. And there's the mask. So, so go to the world. Of, here's www.edheck.com. And it's uh, every mask that he sells, uh, they donate a mask. Okay. So it's just, it's a great, I'm so, my, my nonprofit is totally supporting his nonprofit. I love it. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to blend this shadow. I love my stompy here, guys. I love my stompy. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more shadow. I think I'll I'll draw his the the belly here a little bit, and I'm gonna leave the belly a lighter color, okay? And then I'll now if I need a little more value, <clears throat> excuse me. I always love darkening it in, darkening it in, darkening it in, and uh, you can dip your stompy into the black areas if you need to get a little more. I need a little more value here. I want to shade the neck. Oh, I love our little sleepwalking T-Rex. And again, you can add all kinds of extras to yours. You can put the, the sail. You can put the... Now look at the seahorse is blowing bubbles in front of it. All right. Now, if you like these, the idea of drawing for a lot more detail, this Saturday, join me. I'm going to do my... Uh, my NASA collaboration, my NASA collaboration with uh, Team Artemis. Wait, there's there's the Artemis patch, and I have another cool. Here it is with Team Artemis, uh, and we go. We're drawing uh, lessons on the components of the Artemis space station. And here was episode one we did. It's on my YouTube channel, and it's on Facebook channel. Uh, that was episode one. And this was my drawing of episode one right here. And this is noon live. We get together with NASA artist Jack Moore. And we get together with NASA art educator, um, NASA educator, technical educator, Patricia Moore. We have a uh, special engineer coming on talking about our, our NASA component. We're drawing the gateway to, to this Saturday, the gateway, the moon orbiting space station is the the platform that they're going to use to land on the moon. That was episode one. We did that. And here's my, so here's episode two. It was the SLS, the space loss system. And uh, let me share with you my episode two picture. Remember, this is noon. I hope you guys said this is episode two. That's what we did for episode two. I'm pleased to how that turned out. And then uh, this was episode three. We did the Orion crew survival suit. And here's my hour after an hour drawing. We did the Orion Crew Survival Suit. Do you guys like that one? Okay. Isn't that cool? Do you love it, love it, love it? And then this was episode four. We did the uh, mobile launch platform. And then this was my, my drawing of it. We do this live, you guys, live for an hour at noon on uh, Central Time, Houston Control. Central Time. This was episode five. This was uh, two, three weekends ago. This was the, uh, oops, I messed it up. Here, that, I, I showed you the wrong one. Here, where is that guy? That, uh, where is he? Oh, this one. I showed you the wrong one. This, this is that. That was the, the Orion Crew Survival System suit. And then this is the actual moon suit that they land on the moon. This is the exploration, the XEMU. That's the XEMU. The, it's the uh, NASA's Exploration Extra Vehicular Mobility Unit. Ah, I love it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, 19 minutes. Pretty good. It's not a half an hour. You could tell I'm motivated to have dinner. 
please consider joining my uh, Fine Arts Academy. You'll love it. it it'll just be awesome. Um, go to my Draw 3D site. I have hundreds of awesome drawing lessons that are commercial promotion free. Okay. And, uh, of course, pick up a copy of my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. You Can Draw in 30 Minutes book. Drawing in 3D. Imagination Station. And my Draw, Draw, Draw series. I got lots of cool books. Look at all these. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you for drawing with me. I love you. And I'll see you on the next episode of our You Can Draw in 30 Days Live. I'm hungry. I'm going to go have dinner. Bye, everybody. <laughs>